What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Hey, let's cast some more Zelda stuff. All right. I, I love the Zelda games. I, I love, like, the books and all the fun little collectibles. What's probably, like, your thing when it comes to Zelda, though? Plushies. Of course it's plushies. <laughs> uh, we thought we would have to scour the house to try to uh -huh. amass all of the plushies. No, this, this is going to be, a, like, a huge chunk out of the whole collection. We were going to, like, not bump it up, like, really big. Because I was like, I have a ton of... Of Zelda plushies. Not as much as we thought. Turns out I have a lot of Mario plushies. Oh my gosh, <laughs> yeah. What we do have is uh, is some fun stuff. Should we start off with the what would make Cap turn the video off? I guess I don't need this shirt anymore. For say that might to the as, end. Might as well. Let's, <laughs> let's get these handsome guys out of here. Look. We got the triplets here. Oh, yeah. yeah. You've got a little bit of a darker green uh -huh. link right here i'm pretty sure he was in one of those um like mystery boxes that had like a bunch of just stuff in it the lighter tunic has obviously spent more time out in the sun it's obviously this one actually the one that spent some time out in the sun was given to us as a gift from one of our friends the funny thing is is when we got this one i thought i was like oh no we already have him but they are slightly different yeah and i think color. even their shields are different too. yeah there's a lot of differences so it's kind of fun different shields different belt buckles obviously the coloring is different so i guess it's kind of like smash brothers you've got like young link and toon link or something <laughs> I don't know. whatever this guy i picked up at one of the either the first or second mo game con we ever went to because i had never seen him in his little tunic from from wind waker and i thought it was super cute except i did have to hide this the whole show because I didn't want Cap to destroy him. You were pretty sure he would. I really did him. think he was going to, so yeah. <laughs> this was also another one of those like little tiny prizes in one of those mystery boxes. Nice little plush shield. Which is kind of neat because something this size you would expect to be like the regular squeezy thing, mm -hmm. but it's a plush squeezy. And I love Cool Rocks. This was a handmade act item from a convention that we were at recently. That's right. Yeah, and they did a fantastic job, They did an job amazing too, job. Especially this was, with as little as This was actually before they really had a whole lot of Korok plushies. This one and this one, actually. You found this on, I believe, Etsy for me. Yes. Because there were no plushies. And if you listen... He's got a little, little bell in there. I love him. He's one of my favorites. He's kind of a fun felt. Something that I love about this, it's a very tight stitching, and so it's a very firm yeah. plush. But there's something about them that's like a, an old school doll, like an old world doll. It does feel old world. So these were my first two Koroks that I could ever find because there wasn't plushies of them. I never actually used this as a keychain or hanging off of something because I always thought he'd either get dirty or he'd like get ripped off. He just hangs in the What do we like to do with our keychains? Put them on Christmas trees. Boom, perfect ornament. And I mean, since we're on Koroks, yep. <laughs> look at this bulbous guy. I know, he is hilarious. I love how his his little mask kind of, kind of encompasses his face, but not really. He's still too big for it. <laughs> He's such a fat, fluffy plush. Fun fact, this was actually a Timu find. Timu was actually, it really? Yeah, they got that off of Timu. Wow. Or and, Temu, or however the Super Bowl told us to pronounce it. And it doesn't matter that he has wonky ass because the Koroks is supposed exactly. to have wonky ass to begin with. So it's not like one of those melted ice creams that you get. Another fun one that I found, a keychain. This one is actually pretty fun because you can rip oh off... Oh my gosh! You can rip off his face and put new ones on there. Or, or, or this one. Or, or, or this one. Or this one. Now the funny thing is, this was another Timu find, which I thought was super cool. But this was actually a one of those misleading ones because all of these were supposed to fit inside his little zipper pouch back uh, here. Yeah, they're not going. And to. I was like, these are kind of like a hard felt. And I was like, how is that going to fold up into this teeny tiny little zipper pouch in the back? Even though it was a not what I thought I was getting things. I still liked it. I still thought it was cute. I remember when you got this, you had one complaint because there was a certain mask that was missing. 
and you always adore this guy in the game. He's got like the really long yes, leaf. Yes, the really long leaf one. Because it's funny because it like the way it shakes and everything. I just really like that one. <laughs> We, we got the Korax out of the way. Who's next? Well, let's go big or go home, let's shall we? So, you actually surprised me with this guy, this big old Octorok. You found it on, I think, maybe Play Asia or something like that, and you came home and you're like, hey, guess what? I found you something. And then you threw it at me. He is huge. <laughs> he really is. He's super is. plush, very soft. He's. And. He's the uh, the texturing of yeah he's got that like velvet yeah. fur I love this kind of fur on him because they're the fun kind that you can just kind of sit there and just kind of rub your hands on and it just kind of soothes you so yeah he's a lot of fun I like that one what are you looking at he's gonna shoot you in the you face just put a rock under me <laughs> going from super cute to super angry you got a bokoblin here with a club I know staple to his ear apparently. I actually enjoy getting bad guy plushies because they always, you know, do Zelda and Link plushies, but not a lot of bad guy plushies. It's kind of fun. I love, he's got his little skull pendant and, uh, you know, a loincloth. Like, what's, what's going on? on I'm pretty sure that's the first thing you did when you got there. I did. Check I was like, nope. Hey! <laughs> Whoa! I'm going to leave this guy over here. <laughs> Speaking of Link and Zelda, we have Link and Zelda from Breath of the Wild. I was so excited to find these. I think we already had this one. We had found it in my GameStop. But then when we were at um, MGC, I had found her. And I was so excited. I was like, oh my gosh, there's a matching Zelda. Because usually you'll find tons and tons of Link plushies, but not a lot of Zelda plushies. But I really didn't want to pay the price for her. And so <laughs> what did I do? I'm standing there at the booth and I get on Amazon and I find her for literally half the price on Amazon. Bought her right then and there, and she was waiting for me in the mailbox by the time we got home. <laughs> That's hilarious. It just goes to show, I mean, you know, you're not trying to step on the feet of any of the vendors. No. But if the price doesn't agree with you, feel free to look it up online, exactly. you know. It's not going to hurt anything. It's a plushie. And it was a plushie that was a new plushie at the time. All they were trying to do was mark up the price and take advantage of people at trade shows <laughs> and conventions. But I loved the detail all over these plushies, honestly. I mean, you've got her pouch, her belt. I mean, even the hair breadths in her hair, she's kind of got longer hair. She, I mean, she just is gorgeous. And then the same thing with Link. I love the fact that he's got, you know, he's got his earrings. He's got the Sheikah slate and the sword and the, his shield, his bracers. I mean, the, the detail on the plushies alone are amazing to me. I absolutely love them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And should we reenact the one scene? Link! Whoa! Link, look at these frogs! Oh. Aren't they so cute? Oh, that scene! <laughs> that scene! That scene! <laughs> Is that what I think it is? Look at this! I don't believe it, but I actually caught one! Go on! Taste it! Anyway, who else do you have? <laughs> Well, speaking of Timu finds, I actually found this one also on Timu. And when we were playing the game and we went into the uh, little zappy princess's bedroom, what was her name? The lightning princess? What was her name? I can't remember her name. <laughs> but anyway, when we went in her room and she actually had a plushie of her sand seal, what did I say to you? You said, if you don't find me one of those, don't bother waking up because it's not like you're going to be leaving the bed with those ankles broken. <laughs> she gets dark. Misery! <laughs> Misery, <laughs> you! <laughs> but no, I love the you, fact... You had to have one. I had to have one of those plushies. Because they're adorable, but it's also a plushie in a game based on a yes. creature that's already in the game. And the funny thing is, is, I looked everywhere, all over the internet, and could not find one. Then, you know, scrolling through Timu of all places, I happened to find one, and I still haven't found one anywhere but Timu. And I just thought it was lovely because it is legit just like the one in the game. I mean, it's got the button eyes and then the stitching on all the edges and everything. It's And it's a good, hard, decent plushie. I mean, it's a good quality plushie. It's amazing quality and amazing detail for what it is, considering the fact that it's not an official yeah. Nintendo licensed plushie. Like, the person that did this put a lot of love and care into this.
Well, before we jump to the very last one, uh, speaking of plushies, I notice you've got a, a very shirt. lovely shirt. <laughs> Yeah, this shirt actually is from when we went to the Zelda Symphony in Kansas City a couple of years ago. And of course, I had to get a t-shirt to commemorate going to such an amazing symphony. That was such a fun night and a really fun... If you ever get a chance to check out the Zelda Symphony, I highly recommend it. Yeah, not only was it an amazing show, but obviously the cool merch of something like mm -hmm. this shirt. The shirt is great. Yeah. I love all the different scenes depicted within this circle. What better way to represent... Exactly all the different games from the music and visually it all comes together it's so cool let's talk about your yeah wonderful well my shirt. shirt is just this fun like almost wire neon highly encrusted with the master sword and then you have the silent princess growing over the blade so what you're saying is this would be in zelda or link's bed more like link's bedroom probably in the 80s with when oh. they when they had those neon signs on the wall totally <laughs> totally it would be actually i'd do that now can we get one of these now <laughs> but i just really like the design of this uh the shirt's actually getting a little wear because it gets a lot, a lot of wear, of wear. <laughs> because it's it's really cool i really like the design to it and it's one of those like simplified designs too where mm -hmm. if you know you know but if you're not a zelda fan and you see it it's just like hey that's a cool design that's a cool shirt so yes exactly fun. well the last plushie is the most recent plushie it is the got. most recent and it's to me it's actually the coolest plushie that i have received thus far oh my gosh oh my gosh and I honestly do not know why that there is not official ones of these. And I've been saying it since Breath of the Wild came out. But then this is from Tears of the Kingdom. And it is a plush of one of the dragons from Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you think it's okay to spoil things? Oh... If you don't know, I mean, it tough. has been out a little while. So <laughs> it's the Zelda dragon. So this one has a neat, a wire running through it so that you can make the dragon do, you know, whatever pose you want it to do. It's got a really good tight stitching on it for being homemade. Um, and right down to the beautiful design of Zelda's eyes. That was one of the things on the Zelda dragon that I absolutely loved was the beautiful eyes. And then there is actually wire in the horns so that you can make the, the horns kind of do what they want, what you want them to as well. But I have been wanting the dragons from Breath of the Wild, the three dragons, as plushies, not just because I love dragons, but you know, I mean, they're beautiful creatures in that game. So then we get, you know, Tears of the Kingdom and one more dragon, so. Thank you very much for this. This was my Valentine's Day gift this year from him, and I absolutely loved it. And that that was a pretty good surprise, I think. It was a big surprise, because at first I was like, I honestly thought it was a Pokemon. Like, I thought it was a Pokemon dragon at first, because I didn't see the face. But the minute I saw those eyes, I knew exactly what it was. And so I was just like, I thought it was funny. And I tell you what, future Thomas think the world of you, because he's even left a link to the Etsy shop in the description down below. Wow, what a guy, Future Tom. I just think Future Tom's amazing because I'm getting more, right? We'll see about that. Actually, we gotta we gotta pump these numbers up. So <laughs> maybe, maybe we'll <laughs> find you some more Zelda stuff. Oh, I was hoping I could go like this and oh look, another one appeared. <laughs> well, Future Tom! We have <laughs> one more thing to add to the Zelda plush. I got you a present. Ooh. <gasps> I knew immediately what it was when I saw his backpack. That's so adorable. Hey, can you take me to my friend? Way over there. Of course it's way over there. It's always <laughs> way over there. That is adorable. Look, he's got his little cup, his little lantern, and his backpack, bedroll thingy, and then a little tree sticking out of there. So there you go. That you is wanted adorable. more plushies? Future Tom came through and got you another plushie. That is so adorable. I love the detail everywhere. You've got, you know, all the great detail on the backpack back here. And then on him up there. So cute. Ooh, ooh. Oof. Oof. Don't worry, buddy. I'm going to get you to your friend. Let's just put this rocket right there. Whee! <laughs> I'm sure he'll be fine. 
I'll see you in the future. I think it's off to a pretty good collection already. You know, you've got like these fun Korok creatures. Obviously, Link and Zelda are represented. Link a couple of times, in <laughs> fact. That big plush Korok is great. The homemade stuff like the Sand Seal, the Light Dragon here. But then even the monsters looking so cute and adorable in their plushy form. <laughs> big ol' ears, big floppy ears. Yeah. Basically, my takeaway from this is I thought I had a ton of Zelda plushies. I don't have as many as I thought. So you know what that means? Anymore. <laughs> Help. <laughs> Bye, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings. Be like, oh yeah, I, I did do that. What do you want? You have food, go eat your food. You don't need us in there. You're fine. <laughs> well, speaking of Link and Zelda, we have Link and Zelda from, I almost said Wind Waker. <clears throat> <laughs>